What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another rad movie review today to talk about a horror film that actually came out last year. I missed this one. This is a body horror film called Suitable Flesh, directed by Joe Lynch. So today we're going to talk about this film and discuss my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So we're here today to talk about Suitable Flesh. This stars Heather Graham, Judah Lewis, and Barbara Crampton. This is directed by Joe Lynch. And if you don't know him, he's done a film that I'm quite fond of called Mayhem. That's a really good film if you haven't seen this one. If you haven't seen that one, I'll put the poster up right here. That's one that I highly recommend for real. Mayhem is a great film. And Suitable Flesh is another film that kind of falls into almost the same vein in terms of the style of Joe Lynch's style because he's a film producer, but he's also a music producer and director as well. So and music videos. So you kind of get that flair for that style when it comes to mayhem and also this film too. So let's discuss this movie. So in this movie, Heather Graham plays a psychiatrist who one day is visited by this young man right here and is kind of thrown for a loop. This kid kind of makes a mark real quick in terms of, you know, being a patient or he's not really a patient because he kind of just forces himself into her life and like I said he makes a mark and she just goes down a huge downward spiral and Barbara Crampton is actually Heather Graham's friend in this movie so let's kind of discuss the positives first before we get into some negatives or anything like that one key positive right away is that Heather Graham just uh, throw give that girl her flowers and everything because like I've loved this girl ever since you know the Austin Powers days you know I love the spy who shagged me like Austin Powers days like you know Heather Graham is my, my girl but for real she is a tour de force in this movie fantastic and one reason that she gets to do that is because this film deals with the concept of having people body hop which is not kind of a spoiler that's not a spoiler or anything it's kind of already in the movie like you've already known in the trailer and stuff like that and even when you read the synopsis there's body hopping in this movie so she gets to flip the script and play different types of characters at like different types of moments so that's what's really cool so yeah she really gets to go ham in this movie we also have some other good side actors some of the other cast members do a fantastic job as well so the performances across the board aren't all fantastic but there are some really good standout ones for sure another thing is i gotta give it up to the concept i think this is a wild really fun crazy kooky concept that i like it's a film that like I said it's one of those movies that when you think of the idea and you're thinking Thinking about it it's like wow that's really kind of cool and creative do they hammer it down home correctly I don't think Joe Lynch really handles the concept correctly when we get to the third act and some other things they do throughout the film but in terms of the idea in general I think it's really fun and it's really crazy I also thought the practical effects and the gore effects were really up there they're up the ante and stuff there are a few far between like but it, and it kind of takes its time it's a movie that doesn't really necessarily just go balls to the wall with the whole but when we do get those gruesome gory moments they're really gory they're really gruesome and like I said especially when we get into that third act there's some really awesome practical effects stuff that I really was happy with in terms of delivering and on the body horror for this movie another aspect of this movie that I think is really fun is that it kind of keeps you guessing it's one of those films that I don't think it's predictable I really don't think it is I don't like where it ends up some of the places and some things but it's not really a predictable movie it does keep you on your toes and it's fresh and I enjoy that other amazing key positive we must talk about is that this film it kind of talks about it right here it says it right here it's it's sexy and man this, this the sex part does stand out a lot in that word there's a lot of sex stuff in here you know heather Graham, we, we love you we love you girl there's a lot of stuff in here so in terms of if you're into you know erotic and sexual type nature films films that kind of have that focus and that's a very strong part of the film and strong strong theme this movie is going to be right up your alley because, like I said, we got a lot of awesome, really cool scenes to look at. Like I said, this, this film's not going to waste your time. It won't waste your time. And 
another plus for real is it's only an hour and 39 minutes. So this isn't a long watch. You know, it's not like a two and a half hour movie or a three hour movie. It's an hour and 39 minutes. It doesn't overstay its welcome, which is a nice blessing. Let's talk about some of the mixed and negatives because this wasn't a perfect film or like a great, great film. This was a really fun film. Like I said, it had a really cool concept and I had a lot of fun with it, but there's still some negatives in terms of the way they handled the tone of the film. It's... I feel like it would have been better if the comedy stuff landed better. So I'm talking about the spoken word dialogue and the handling of the tones and all that. The comedy doesn't really land in this film. And at some point, it it doesn't portray itself as a horror comedy at first. But then kind of about 35, 40 minutes into the movie, it kind of starts becoming a horror comedy a little bit in the way it handles itself. And it... It's a little bit jarring because it doesn't really necessarily work. I thought the more serious, you know, more like, you know, obsess obsession, you know, sexual nature tone of the first 30 minutes of the film fit this movie fine. When they started adding some of these comedic elements, I don't think it was really working that well. Also, as I said, we were talking about the performances. There are some that are really standout-ish, but then there's others that are kind of very, like Barbara Crampton, I love you to death, and she's so gorgeous. We do adore you, but she's got some very cringy, very cheesy lines in this movie that has to do with the dialogue as well. That's another one of my negatives, but Barbara Crampton and also Heather Graham's husband, the character that plays her husband in this movie, that actor, woof, for me was by far the worst in this film. And like the dialogue, the scenes with him, I was just like, it, it, it was, it was, it was pretty rough to watch. So like I said, this film had, it had really good performances, really good practical effects and stuff, which was kind of interesting because then we had some really bad special effects like CGI smoke. I just don't know why you would decide to do CGI smoke for certain things. I know it may be because certain actors, they don't want to do the smoking scenes, even if it's a fake cigarette or anything like that. They don't want to do the fake smoking or anything. The CGI smoke just stands out. It's so blatantly obvious. And another thing I want to say is the third act of this film. I like elements of it. I really do like the dark nature of it and where it does go but I would say it's kind of messy the way that it gets to the, the way it gets to where it is. I like the landing spot of the third act, but the process to get there was a little bit messy. And like I said, this is a movie that I think with Joe Lynch in terms of writing, directing, he probably could, a, a couple more passes in the writing room could have done them a really sweet, great job because I think this movie was on the cusp. It, this movie is one of those movies that it was on the cusp of being a really standout fantastic film and probably a few tweaks in the writing room and some of those negatives if they would have fixed those things this could have been in the top 10 of horror films last year if it was you know a couple of those tweaks were fixed let me all as we chatted suitable flesh this is one like i said i do recommend this film i did have fun with it and it's quite an enjoyable ride and it's an interesting intriguing film with a lot of sexual stuff in there and i do enjoy heather graham so i'm glad that i have this in the collection in terms of a rating for this bad boy suitable flesh is going to get a rad rating of a 7 out of 10 so it's still a very solid rating you know it's not super super great or anything like that like i said it was on the cusp of being a really awesome really fantastic film but thanks for sticking around with me all to hear my thoughts on this movie please let me know down below share your thoughts and comments if you've seen this movie or even if you just want to say hey what's up how you doing norn hit me up down below so i can say hey and check and say hey and how you doing and all that kind of stuff because I would love to chat with you. Be sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.